Hey guys, I'm the Brick Queen visiting on Lego Lee's channel today, and we're doing a collab video on the Desert Skiff. Um, and he asked for my thoughts on it. Um, personally, I absolutely love the set. I think it's great for the price. It's only twenty-five dollars, and you get four minifigures with it. Especially the fact that you get Boba Fett in a cheap set. Um, you don't have to buy the super expensive sets to get a Boba Fett. So I really, really like that about the set. Also, the skiff itself is way better than the earlier versions of it. So, all in all, this is an amazing set. I absolutely adore it. And I can't wait to do the full review on my channel also. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy Lego Lee's review. And if you haven't already subscribed to him, go subscribe. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee. Three to nine in here, bringing you another Lego Star Wars set review. And today we have set number 9496, the Desert Skiff. It contains 213 pieces, ages 7 through 12. And I give special thanks to the Brick Queen for participating in my review and giving her a quick opinion. That was really awesome of her. Go check out her review whenever that's up. I'll try to link to it somewhere. And here's a front look at your box and a quick look at the back of your box. One instruction manual, which mine kind of seems to be a better quality uh, cardboard paper, which is really cool. And it has 53 pages of building. First up for the minifigures here is Luke Skywalker, who has a really cool new torso printing. His face isn't any different, neither is his hair. And of course he has the green lightsaber like in Return of the Jedi. Luke also features slight back prints. Next minifigure here is the pirate Kithaba. He's a really cool minifigure. He's never been made before in a Lego set. He's got some really cool face printing, one of those cool pirate hats in a dark red color, and some really nice front torso printing. Kithaba also features back printing. So probably my favorite figure in the set here is Lando Calrissian. He is a really great figure. He's got some really nice torso printing, a cool little axe, weapon, spear thing there. And I just love the detail on the mask, helmet thing that Lego gave him. It just really looks superb. There's a look at Lando's face underneath the mask. Lando also features slight back printing. Last, but certainly not least for the minifigures here is Boba Fett. He's pretty much very similar to the one that came in the Slave 1, but he finally features some really nice leg printing and this thing is a little bit different. Also, he has a different design for the gun, which is really cool. There is a look at Boba's face underneath his helmet, and a quick look at Boba from the back. He does not have any back print. Here is our Desert Skiff set. First accessory you build here is the very infamous and very cool design to Sarlacc Pit. Lego did a really cool job designing this. I really like all the teeth. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't feature enough tentacles, but it does have the beak, which was added in this special edition of Star Wars kind of randomly. And what's cool about this beak is those cockpit pieces, but actually, you can use them. They're big enough, so you can swallow minifigures whole, and Boba Fett can get to digest it for over 1,000 years, or unless you followed the Xfinity universe, and apparently he doesn't, so yeah, whatever. The skiff itself, in my opinion, is a really great design. A big improvement from the one that came with the sail barge, and a huge, huge, vast improvement from the one that came out like in 1999. It just really looks fantastic. Give you a quick scroll here of all the details. The playability on the skiff itself, you know, it's not amazing, but it's still really cool. One thing I really liked that LEGO added was this translucent bricks there to give the appearance that it is hovering. These little fin flap things back here are really cool. You can adjust them like that, and they can go up and down, so that's really cool. The skiff here, there's a small little compartment that can store two little small pistols. Going towards the back of the skiff, it has some really nice details, including these, which might look a little bit weird, but if you watch the movie, that's actually pretty accurate, and there's some controls you can sit Kithapa back there. The whole thing has a, quite a lot of room to sit many minifigures, and if you check out this, you could make even more sit there. Of course, like every LEGO set seems to have nowadays, there is a flick fire missile. And probably the most accurate and coolest feature of the set, you can see here this little um, hook, and you kind of just push that out, and the plank comes out. LEGO added a nice little space where Luke can stand on the plank. Of course, LEGO being LEGO had to throw in some random red bricks there. The skiff kind of looks a little bit hollow from the bottom here, which is kind of strange. Final verdict for this LEGO Desert Skiff set. I love it. I mean, $25... Most of the time, the $25 sets are probably the weakest from the line. This is actually one of the best from the new Star Wars line, which is really crazy. It's a great value considering it's a Star Wars set. You get four amazing minifigures. The skiff is pretty big. The Sarlacc Pit's a nice added bonus. And it's just really a great set. I definitely highly recommend you go pick this up. 9 out of 10 from me. And go check out Brick Queen's video. Um, I really think she'll appreciate that, which would be really cool. And subscribe to her. And don't forget to subscribe to me. And like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.